Yeah, just not as sharp. He battled through it today again, tried to give us a five. Um, wasn't as sharp. Curveball, not as sharp. The cutter won a good pitch for him today, kind of in and out of uh, consistency with that pitch. And, um, yeah. yeah. And thoughts as to why is no, there's some stuff internally that we'll address. I just sat down with uh, our pitching guys and walked through it. We'll uh, address it in his next pen and go from there, but we're, we're in a good spot. We'll be okay with him. Yeah. His next start, they'll, they'll obviously break this record that they tied today. Because of the spot you guys have played yourself into, could the way you use him look a little different down the stretch to try to bank up some rest for the postseason? Or is that too early to have a time? I think too early. Um, we haven't done anything. There's a lot of baseball to be played. That's the reality, at least the way I'm thinking about it. Um, we uh, we got a month to go, and um, we're going to continue to go hard. So, mine's not even there yet. Yeah. It's been difficult for you guys to find production out of the catcher spot all season. How good is it to see you guys continuing to swing the bat well in September? <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome day. Um, caught some out in front, two homers. Uh, his other outs were good when he has the ability to turn on it, and uh, but also stay on that one. Got in on him a little bit, but the line drive to first. Um, that's more his style when he's able to use the whole field and do what he wants with the barrel. So we're seeing a really productive version of a uh, of Yad right now. Do you, do you think he's reached deep a little bit, knowing that this is his final push here as a player? I mean, do you think he's looking for a little something extra to finish strong? Uh, yeah, that's an understatement. He smells it, and he's going to go after it. Yeah. No doubt about it. You mentioned Kimber Yachty multiple times. Do you think that he was also re-energized by, I mean, you have clubhouse leaders saying that his presence alone helped re-energize them in the second half. Do you think that there are also a flip side into how the team has been playing that's helped him? Uh, yeah, I think it goes both ways. We uh, That clubhouse gains energy when, when Yad's getting after it the way he is right now in September and vice versa. Um, when we're playing good baseball and uh, you get to see what's ahead, that energizes Yad, so it's uh, we're in a good spot right now. The at-bats for Burles did any pretty well come as advertised? Yeah, yeah, good at-bats, professional at-bats. Uh, just missed one pull side, stayed on that one uh, to left at the end there. But, um, yeah, very professional at-bats. Well, with the off day on Monday, can that help Wayne now give him an extra day before his next start? Uh, yes, uh, it can, and I think uh, everybody will benefit from it. Guys have been going hard. Nobody wants a day off right now. Um, position players are getting after it. So we'll play the next three as hard as we can and then go from there. The leadoff walk, the kind of bothersome part of this game, I know it gets away late, but just as it's still kind of close game. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, he was frustrated by it. We're frustrated by it. Strike thrower that's on the ground. So uh, tough when you lead off walk and then someone actually takes a base on you on the ground ball, uh, can't turn a double play. So, yeah, frustrating, but we'll uh, we'll learn from it. He about that catch that he made on that comeback or Wayne Wright? I'm glad it was towards his gloves, not not his face, yeah. So many no-look catches on line drives. <laughs> yes, that one caught him, yeah. On the ball over Dickerson, do you think did you get a tough read there? Yeah, tough read, tough route. Um, He'd probably tell you the same. And uh, that led to a couple runs there, but yeah. This, this game just feel in areas just not as crisp as maybe you guys are used to? I wouldn't say not as crisp. You're, you're looking at a team, here's the reality of it, you're looking at a team that doesn't strike out much, and we threw some guys out there that don't strike a whole lot of people out. There's going to be a lot of balls in play. I've, uh, I saw a lot of soft contact that found holes, which at the end of the day makes it look like it's not sharp, but there's a lot of softballs in play for hits. We hit some balls hard. We weren't rewarded by it. At the end of the day, they won. But uh, yeah, that's my view of it. I guess I was thinking more along the lines of, I mean, obviously there are plays like the RBI single that, that is to Nolan, right? Nolan fields at a third base. But more along the lines of like what you're talking about with Corey, that that route, or just like the fine tune of a, a walk and a wild pitch or elements like that, and then it, the game just kind of got away. I agree with that part. Okay. Yeah, for that's, sure. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. Maybe we're a little duller than you're used to. Can't argue that.